Well, now to a story we've been following for years. A monkey breeding facility in Mesa, operated by the University of Washington, is once again under investigation. The research team is facing allegations of serious violations resulting in the deaths of dozens of monkeys. Team 12's Josh Sanders joins us now with more. You know, the people in Arizona, this is in your backyard. Letters sent on behalf of the People for the Ethical Treatment of Animals, or PETA, to both the National Institutes of Health and the United States Department of Agriculture, alleging violations of the Animal Welfare Act at the Washington National Primate Research Facilities, including the Breeding Center in Mesa. PETA alleges there were experiments being performed at the Seattle facility where needles, gauze, and other surgical equipment were left inside the bodies of monkeys. There were infants that were mutilated. There are infants that are dying from undiagnosed diseases. The investigation comes after PETA says they independently reviewed thousands of autopsy reports for hundreds of monkeys who died in the past four years. The USDA now investigating possible violations of the Animal Welfare Act. Lisa Jones Engel is a former researcher for UW but now works for PETA, says enough is enough and it's time to shut the facility down. The University of Washington Primate Center is, is on a, a rapid downward trajectory. And I think that what we have here with this complaint is a reflection of the place that's falling apart. PETA's hope is that the folks in, in Arizona say, hey, we don't want this. We don't, it's, it's not good for the monkeys. It's not good for the science. It's not good for the citizens of this state. The Washington National Primate Research Center says they self-report unexpected deaths or injuries to the NIH and say a separate investigation after allegations from PETA into the Mesa facility last year found no wrongdoing. Today, telling 12 News in part, we are unaware of any recent complaints filed by PETA with the NIH or USDA. We suspect the information received is part of an ongoing effort to discredit the center and the important work conducted towards scientific discovery and medical advances. Josh Sanders, 12 News.